What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Cooking with Aiden. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is basically a series where I try and get better at cooking. See, I'm not exactly the best cook. Usually, my cooking is compromised of just slapping some shit together, heating it on the pan, and calling it a day. But we are gonna stop that. We are gonna make some good shit, okay? We're making ratatouille today. Now, if you don't know what ratatouille is, Pixar movie about a rat, and he makes this dish at the end that is really good, compromised of an assortment of tons of vegetables, and is called ratatouille. So, basically, what we do is we slice up all this shit, put it in a pan, put some olive oil on that, put some spices, some basil, some rosemary, some thyme, call it a day by baking it in the oven, and we get some good food. So, that's what we're gonna be attempting today. I hope as we keep making random and cool recipes, I'm gonna be using Tasty's recipe today, I'll link it in the description. We're gonna be making cool recipes, and I'm gonna become a better chef in the process. So, I think with that being said, let's get started into the ingredients, and then we'll make some ratatouille. <music> So if you want to make this, you're going to need some pepper, some salt, some olive oil, onion, yellow squash, eggplants, zucchini, basil, thyme, rosemary, it should be parsley, but I only have rosemary, some peppers, preferably of the yellow, orange, or red variety, some garlic, and then some tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, a garlic mincer and a big boy pan, probably a knife as well. And you're also gonna need some aluminum foil to actually put over the top when we bake it in the oven. But guys, I'm excited. My family's gonna be having this tonight. It's gonna be a banger. I'm gonna become a better chef. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I had to do was obviously cut up the zucchini, the eggplant, the squash, the tomatoes. Now, I was supposed to do it in about 1 8 or 1 16th of an inch, but uh, I definitely did not get that exactly precise, but I, I definitely tried my best. So hopefully it comes out pretty well. Next thing I did is I added two tablespoons of olive oil to the pan itself. And then I added some onions, later I added some garlic, and then I put in the peppers, and then after about 10 minutes of letting it just sit there and stirring around for a bit, I added the actual tomato paste, basil, you know, put some salt and pepper on that. It was absolutely delicious looking. Next thing I did was align the actual thing of uh, vegetables that I already had pre-cut. And I actually did a pattern. What I ended up doing is I did tomato, zucchini, squash, eggplant, and then I just repeated that pattern all the way around in the circle. I tried to make it look as even as possible, but as you can see, I didn't do a perfect job. The eggplant was way bigger than the other stuff, so I had to like do this scuffed thing where I like cracked it in half and then put it in. So hopefully that doesn't mess with the recipe that much. Next, I just made the actual mixture of basil and you know rosemary and thyme and then some olive oil, and then I spread that across the top, put some aluminum foil on, and I put that baby on into the oven. After 40 minutes of baking at 375 with the aluminum foil on, I took it off and then put it in for another 20. And here's the finished product, as you can see. I did not want to annoy my family and review it on camera, but I can tell you guys it was very good. It was definitely, definitely not as good as the actual Tasty recipe. I definitely didn't do as good of a job as they did. Um, the, I should have added more basil. There wasn't enough basil or thyme flavor. Uh, olive oil was great taste, and the actual tomatoes and four vegetables of the zucchini, squash, eggplant, and tomato came through really well. 
I just wish that it was a little bit more salty and peppery. I should have added more of that. And the basil and thyme and rosemary didn't come through enough, so I should have added more of that. But other than that, it was pretty good. Yeah, no, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, guys. I've been, I've been so busy with soccer and tennis and golf course and stuff, but having a great time making the videos. I'm hoping to get one out in a couple days, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.